Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. I'm Steve White, Battalion Chief with the Fishers Fire Department. In this segment, we're going to do advanced stabilization techniques for vehicles that are either on their side or on their roof with a combination of box cribbing and heavy duty struts. First, we're gonna begin by capturing the A post of the truck with the standard box cribbing. These box cribs have to be installed on either A post of the cab. As we install the buttress system, the struts are coming in contact with the frame rails. At the bottom of the buttress system, we're utilizing a grade 80 chain initially, and then we're going to tension the buttress with a chain come along. There's two critical elements to using the chain above a typical nylon strap. First, the chain is a bit stronger than the standard nylon strap. Additionally, when nylon straps are under tension, anytime glass or tools come in contact with them, they're very susceptible to being cut because they're tensioned under load. If any equipment, glass, or tools fall on top of the chain, they're less likely to cut and break. Another consideration is the footprint. Here we are on stable ground, so a smaller base plate is acceptable. If we're off the road in an unstable terrain, a larger base plate would be critical to help capture and distribute the area of contact on the ground. Now that we have the system in place, we can begin to gain access by removing the glass, taking the doors, or manipulating the roof, because our entire system is now holding the weight of the cab. In this second stabilization segment, we're going to address a tractor on its side. Again, with our heavy duty struts, we're attacking the frame as the top attachment point, which is a very firm area of contact. Utilizing the grade 80 chain, we complete the buttress, and with the threaded collar, once we tighten it, it provides tension. Next, we're going to wedge between the ground and the A-post. On the frame side, utilizing the Homatro toe jack, we're going to crib to the point of lift with the top of the toe jack contacting the bottom frame rail. This will pressurize the frame rail in conjunction with the A-post wedges we previously installed. Now the truck is stable. As we close this segment, you have the opportunity to see that when vehicles are in a precarious position, that different methods can bring the entire truck to a stable point where extrication and rescue can begin. One point of note, you'll notice that now we have the fuel tanks that are gonna be very high or upside down. So please refer to your standard operating guidelines for hazmat mitigation with diesel fuel. I'm Steve White, and thank you for watching Training Minutes. We'd like to thank Homatro for sponsoring this segment.